Alright, so I was browsing Facebook and this ad comes up for a game called Police Shootout. Now, I am of course a fan of games like SWAT 4, I am very interested in Ready or Not, and I am really keen to see if this game can make a very loaded topic justice. Now, the worst thing that could happen is if I just went into this and they just treat it all wrong. I pray they don't do that. Uh, but let's check the training and uh, see what this is all about. Okay, so obviously no voice acting in the demo so far, but they want uh, techniques for dealing with your opponent. Well, I hope arrest procedures are going to be part of that. Uh, direct confrontation, tactics, methods of protecting your own ass, and attack. Uh, in B1, you have some targets which will protect your aim. Uh, these are... Alright, so... Accuracy is important. You need to dodge a bullet, you need to use cover. Uh, short cues, take your time, yada yada yada. So, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so... So, uh, to aim, shoot your weapon at the enemy. A multiple mouth feeling with the fear. Okay, so apparently... Oh, this, this is absolutely ridiculous. Let me tell you one thing. I shoot pistols for sport. There are absolutely no way that you at this range are going to miss with a handgun. You don't. I can tell I can tell you that the most untrained person I have ever seen with a handgun would not miss at that range. Not unless they are given an absolutely shit of a gun. Okay, so apparently we just got shot, and now we want to try relocation. I mean, I get that they're trying to do something different here. And th they're talking to me about relocation, but I can move, like, two or three spaces. Like, and then I have... Okay, so blue shield, we can go there. Orange shield, not enough action points to get to... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I can't even move freely? So, opponent's turn. What the fuck is this? Okay, so... Again! How the... There's no way I would miss in that. Or rather... I could, I could get if you're stressed. I could get if... But th this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this is absolute... absolutely fucking lutely ridiculous. It essentially tells you to ignore every single... Every single... Okay, so that was at least a hit. And of course he doesn't go down just because he's hit. He just loses, loses a bit of HP because he's hit. And let's see here. Is there anywhere else we can actually go? Uh, no. Uh, so basically we just need to... Oh, once again. I mean, I, I know I'm supposed to hold down the left mouse button. But... Basically, every reflex that has ever been talked to me from shooters, even police shooters, such as SWAT 4 and stuff like that, they teach me that one single tap should do it. And it doesn't. So basically, you have to ignore every aspect of a modern shooter with this game. And... The problem for me is that so far it doesn't really show to be a nuanced or new take on it. It's basically just a first, a lazy first-person shooter with extra steps. 
Now, I hope that I'm going to be proven wrong with this, that the, either the game or anything else I'm going to see here is going to be more surprising than that. But so far, I'm not seeing it. And that is actually a bit worrisome. I mean, I'm not opposed to the topic that the game presents. I mean, it can be very... It could be a very interesting topic, but... I mean, we are essentially... I get it, this is an exercise. So he, he's like... But... In real life, you wouldn't shoot like this. You would... Make sh You wouldn't, like, stand and take turns like this is some kind of ancient fucking duel. You wouldn't do that. No, you would get a dominating position and you would fire, 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 until the target is neutralized. You would not just stand there and exchange fire like this. Let's go back to the menu and see what the mission is all about. Uh, no, we're not gonna start training. I've had quite enough of that fucking training, thank you. Okay, uh, that is a very informal uniform. Even for a police captain, that is casual as hell. I mean, I get it. You might not carry the full uniform, but you would at least go a little bit beyond. Everyone calls me Mr. Bomb. No, I don't think anyone calls you Mr. Bomb. Okay, so apparently I come from a big city, yada, yada, yada. Uh, have the keys for the police car. Okay, so... Uh, this is gonna be interesting. So apparently there is some filler here where you're essentially going to... No, I don't want to... You can repeat missions you've done before. There are the police headquarters. There's the parking lot brawl. So let's begin the mission, the parking lot brawl. I have high hopes for this. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic, if you can't tell. So, there's a police computer and a first aid kit. <laughs> so, apparently, if you get shot during one day, then you are... Okay, so, press E to get out. And we are gonna talk to the people involved in the incident. I'm the one who reported our little incident. What actually happened. He drove into me. Keep going, but you're okay. Okay, so, get your papers in order, I'm gonna talk to the other gentleman. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna talk to this guy, and he basically calls the other guy a cow, and barely hit him, and, uh, okay, so, as okay, so apparently we had gunshots, there appears to be coming from the store, as far as I can tell. Uh, so, apparently, we were supposed to report the gunshots over the radio, so I can only assume we need to do that in the car, because I can't actually see any other option to do that. So, where is the radio? Use the computer. Uh, no, apparently that was not how you use... Let's see here. Options. Controls. Keyboard. Inventory. Okay, so inventory is Q. Report the gunshots. Uh, send backup. Shots fired. Uh, keep going. So apparently we don't have actually have any guns. We have a baton and we have a flashlight. So we're gonna bring out the baton and see what hell happens. I mean, so far this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, okay, so find someone who can t in the store who can tell me. Uh, there's this person here who seems a bit distressed. We'll see. The daughter was left in the store. Uh, we'll find your daughter. We don't do that, actually, if there's shots fired and someone would be inside, unless there are special circumstances, the police would just cordon off the area and wait for reinforcements. I mean, there's not... there's very very few police forces who just send in a single person. 
Okay, they're still here. The attackers who want the shot. They're looking for others to shoot. Okay, so this looks like and uh, this looks like an act, act, active shooter situation. Uh, you can't stay here. Keep going. Okay, so apparently we can't tell him to get out, despite the fact that it's obviously safe for us to just send him out. Okay, so a dead civilian. Uh, you okay? So he he hates cops and wants us to die. Once again, with the absolutely in asinine controls. And we don't have enough uh, action points, so he's gonna get his free little shot at us, and most likely he's gonna hit us, and... Hit! Okay, so we got a suspect neutralized. Uh, we secured his gun. We are going to report that over the radio. Uh, suspect killed. Uh, reported dead civilian. Send send off. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. Uh, okay, so we basically had an active shooter here. I can only assume that. Oh wait, he he he's a, he has a gun. So call out to him. That he should drop his fucking gun, but he's not going to do that. Put the gun down, and... I absolutely hate this system. I mean, I loathe it with a passion. Because there is no actual sense to it. I mean, they have this first-person mechanic... That everyone knows. Oh, and now you get shot. I mean, you would not go... You just got shot. I mean, you would at least... Okay, so apparently he, we can handcuff him after he's just got shot in the center mass. This game is fucking stupid, guys. I... I mean, I was hoping that this game might actually have... Uh, I can see you're hurt, use it on the wall, use the first aid kit, let's <sighs> use it. And obviously it's a magic first aid kit, and uh, he's the store manager, and uh, let's see. Okay, so apparently there's some guy in the... Uh, there, there is some guy in the warehouse, so this is pro probably the back room. Uh, let's see... No. Okay, so obviously we can't go that way. And uh, the store manager is uh, refusing the order to evacuate. I have explicitly ordered him to evacuate. He is not lit. Okay, so uh, there is some girl, and he, she's running away. And... We don't have the we we don't have anything to apparently apparently you can negotiate but I don't really see what there's to negotiate about here I mean there's basically we don't have any leverage we don't have anything other that could work in our favor. And we we essentially got one hit, another hit, and a third hit, and that now we're out of action points. So obviously he's gonna just gonna shoot us after we shot him three times. I mean that's just stupid. Okay, so second suspect killed. That's two suspects and one arrests, and we are. Pretty damn, pretty damn injured at this, at this point, and yeah, and we gonna. Why are we reporting suspect neutralized? The, if if we're talking about the suspect we arrested earlier, 
then we, that's not suspect neutralized. That's uh, su the suspect arrested. But never mind. Never fucking mind. I'm I'm done with this. I'm not gonna give this a second more of my time. I apparently just spent 15 minutes with this shit, and I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, this is a horrible take on a topic that is awfully relevant today. This is not doing any services to the community at large, doesn't do any services to police officers, and the gameplay is stupid. <laughs> there is no fucking way that I am getting this title. This title has burned me off for a decade at this point. I mean, if they just made it, like, super difficult, a super difficult first-person shooter, uh, then it would have been a lot different. But apparently they just decided that programming bullet, uh, bullet uh, dynamics and a decent AI, that's difficult. That's not for us. That's not something we do. So fuck this. I'm just, I'm just done. There's no fucking way I'm do, um, gonna play this anymore.